Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Generally in baseball, trades don't happen until mid to late summer. Sometimes they happen early in the season, but not usually major deals. GMs like to say, wait until Memorial Day and find out who you are and then adjust your roster accordingly. The problem for the Yankees is that we know who they are. They have a $279 million payroll, most of which is on the injured list, and there's no reason to be hopeful that they're going to buck the injury trend. And the ones who are healthy are the guys who are underperforming. They're still too right-handed, they look old, they look lethargic, and oftentimes the only remedy to a situation like that is to inject some new life into the roster. The Yankees don't have a lot of guys at the minor league level that can make an immediate impact, so that means you probably got to make a trade or two. Trades, though, come with a downside. You've got to give up quality to get quality, and the Yankees have used a lot of their minor league depth in recent years, thanks to some bad trades by Brian Cashman. And nobody's going to accept the Yankees' trash for their impact players, so your choices are to be ready to part with someone you really don't want to give up or accept that this Yankees roster just isn't going to get it done. But here's three guys I think the Yankees should consider depending on what they have to give up. Number one, Jock Peterson. Peterson just turned 31 years old this year, and he's currently playing with the San Francisco Giants. He had a solid year in San Fran last year, blasting 23 home runs and posting an 874 OPS. He's left-handed, he's an outfielder by trade, and he should be comfortable filling in at all three outfield spots. He doesn't hit lefties very well, but he'd mostly be a platoon guy against right-handed pitchers, which is the bulk of the league. But he would give the Yankees an actual dangerous left-handed hitter to complement Anthony Rizzo. Unfortunately, he's another guy who's been injured from time to time throughout his career. He's had wrist issues, he's had hand issues, he's had back issues, he's had abdominal issues. On one hand, that makes him kind of a risk. On the other hand, he'd fit right in. But seriously, he is better than Aaron Hicks, he is better than IKF, and he's a free agent after the season, so you're not committing to him long term. And it probably wouldn't take one of your top five prospects to get him from San Francisco. Peterson has experience playing all three outfield positions, but he's best suited for corner outfield spots, so probably left field. While he has played some center field, his speed and range are more in line with the corner outfield spots. His arm strength is, I'd say, average, but he does make accurate throws. Peterson is also known as being a high-energy player. He's got postseason experience. And he's been a clutch performer who's delivered in big spots and high-pressure situations. Perfect for the Yankees. Let me know in the comments what you would be willing to offer, if anything, for Jock Peterson. Next on my list would be Cody Bellinger, who has gotten off to a great start with the Chicago Cubs. He's had a few down years since winning the MVP with the Dodgers in 2019. But at the time of this recording, which is May 1st, He's off to a great start, 297 average, 7 home runs, 18 ribbies, 976 OPS through 24 games. Now he's a left-handed bat as well, and he's still young. He's just 27 years old. He's going to turn 28 in July, and he's signed for only 2023, so it's not a huge commitment, although there is a mutual option in his contract for the 2024 season. Ballinger has some real promise. I think he would absolutely rake in Yankee Stadium. I caught a lot of flack this winter when I called for the Yankees to pick him up because it was a low-risk move. I think he would be a great, great pickup. Might cost you a little bit more than Peterson because he's having a better year and he's younger and there's an option for them to bring him back next season. So yeah, the price could be a little bit higher than Jock Peterson. But if you're serious about winning, sometimes you got to ante up a little bit. Let me know in the comments who you would be willing to trade to pick up Cody Bellinger. Next up is Corbin Burns. He is likely to be the most expensive in terms of trade package because every team's going to want him. He's a good pitcher. He's durable. He's in the prime of his career, just 28 years old. He turns 29 in October, and he's got a year of control. He's arbitration eligible for 2024 and won't be a free agent until after next season. So far, at the time of this recording, with the Brewers this year, he is 3-1 with a 4.01 ERA in six starts, 33 and two-thirds innings, 
27 strikeouts, and he's got a whip of 1.129. Last season, he was fantastic, 12-8 and eight with a 2.94 ERA. He's extremely durable, and he won the Cy Young Award in 2021 at 11-5 and five with a 2.43 ERA, and he had 234 strikeouts. This is a guy who does not have more strikeouts than innings pitched this season, but he is a guy who can miss some bats and has in the past. I have every confidence that he's going to turn it back on. He's got an exceptional spin rate on his fastball. He's got a very good curveball. He gets a lot of extension. His average exit velocity is in the top third of the league, and he keeps the ball off of the barrel of the bat. I do think he's going to be one of the more expensive pieces dealt at this trade deadline in terms of the prospect package that goes in return. And for that reason, I think it's unlikely he gets traded to the Yankees. We know that Brian Cashman does not like to deal his prospects. And also, if you're going to move prospects this year, you really want to do it for some offense because the Yankees failed to upgrade the offense during the offseason. And now you're seeing the consequences of running the same dead weight out there. So this could be one way to kind of address the team is to make the pitching and the run prevention stronger. But again, going to be very, very expensive in terms of the prospect side. Can probably say goodbye to Jason Dominguez or Spencer Jones or both. Let me know in the comments who you want the Yankees to pick up, and I'll see you next time. 